All right, we're back. Um, we're going to start on this uh, second to last panel here. Now I'm going to try and get a video out a week here, so just bear with me here. All right, we'll start off with this guy's face. Do the holding lines. Remember light coming down from the top, right? Actually, it's coming down from the side this way. Remember all your lines on the opposite side are going to be uh, thin, right? into the blocks same with here try to follow the contour of the line the form there was your lights comes up your lines get thinner Thin out your lines there. Down here in the lip, he's got uh, black an outline. I don't really want to do all the outline first because I can do all the uh, block all this in with my uh, lasso fill brush. So. something better to work from here Yeah, I'm just adding some separation in here so that just gives it some more life. of it. I'll come in and clean it up later.
You don't want to leave a halo here, because it's just the way I am. You can you can follow the lines there if you wanted to, but personally, I think it's uh, best if you just uh, leave it uh, separated. Remember, don't like having two solids together, right? Some artists like it, but I don't know. Personally, myself, I just don't want to think it just looks weird. But that's what makes us all different, right? coming to the face here. Yes. If you're following this, you can just see how fast this is. We're doing traditional. Ain't nothing against traditional. It's just I don't know. It's uh, just takes a long time to do, right? Right. I got a little bit of a cold, so I have to bear with me here. Back to you. doing this. Yes. You can always just come in here and clean it up. Alright. For me, the hardest thing to learn was probably hair. I don't know why, but... It's always been uh, a struggle. But remember, it's just lines. Remember, light on top.
you could come in here with a white later and just outline it. Yes, the bird's uh, whining. He's got him coming up. Remember inside lines nice and thin. Outside lines nice and thick. Ever try to follow the contour of the face? As you go up into the blacks, go thicker. And down, thinner. Black there. Yeah, so leave uh, some comments below as to what you'd like to see next. Uh, after we're done the last panel here, so I was thinking a Batman piece, but we haven't decided yet. Doesn't take much. Of course, these ones here are going to be really, really thick. Also, if you're having problem doing pulls and and they're they're not looking the greatest. This is the way that I learned how to do them. We simple, just draw a line. So you see if this is your your pole, right? This is all black, right? But you want it to uh, look uniform. Just draw a line, right? This will be your center line, creates so creating a curve, right? And then just draw another line like that and just fill it in black. If you can't pull it off in one stroke, right? 
Same with if you have a, a line coming down like this, and you have all these lines coming up like this. Right? Is it, do you just collect the line, collect the line, collect the line. And then just fill in the bottom. Right? Then you get perfect poles. Right? into the black. Always thick going into the black. Now these lines down here, and here, and here, you want them to be, because they're really going under the shadow, you really want them to be thick. Like really, really thick. So, I'm just going to, oops, up my ante here, so I'll go there. As you get down thinner, thicker going into the box, right? Creates depth, right? You could either do this with uh, your small lines or your thick lines, or by just doubling up your lines or cross hatching, right? So. If you want to, you want to know. See, look at I screwed up already. If you want to know any settings or anything that I'm using, then just uh, let me know. Be happy to share my settings with you, especially my pressure settings. But all that is just basically into the uh, on the Surface Pro anyway. <clears throat> That's pretty much done already. Yeah, I'm just gonna up this brush. 
New Zealand's blacks. Right, you're almost done. Now come in here with the whites. Cut in some white. lines that are This is just for, you know, stylized, right? So you can basically do whatever you want, right? at the block a little bit more.
that's pretty much it for this one. One more panel to go. I'll just drop a color for you. So you guys can see. So it'll look like with the blue. Gonna get in there. So what we've done. Next week we'll get into the last panel and then it'll be a whole new page. All right. Thanks. See you guys next week.